All right, hey there, Small Town America. So here we are, day number two. Uh, after uh, a day of running through the, the, uh, the 364 riders that we had yesterday, uh, Cody and, the, and his crew uh, really kind of have a, a well-oiled machine going this morning. Let's step around and see uh, what's all going on, and we're going to get ready to do another full day for round number two, day two, here at the YBR World Finals. Yes, sir. Pretty much same thing, just start over. But some of the cattle figure it out and it makes it easier. The help, there's no chance for them. Uh, Colt can't even remember what number one is. Yeah, yeah. You, there's the problem.
Day two, update of the YBR. I'm really tired. But it's for the kids, guys. That's what we do it for. Sporting rodeo, most people don't realize. It's kind of like taking your kids to Walmart and dropping them off. You know, just, the blue light comes on, whoop your kids. No, it's really not. It's fun. It's just like any other kid wanting to play a sport or something. These kids love the rodeo. Uh, it was a long day. Yesterday, I don't know what day yesterday was, but it was yesterday. Um, we got done about 12.30, I guess I'd say. I went and ate a little bit, had a few adult beverages, and went to bed about 1.30 this morning, and I was up at 5.45 to start uh, the second day. So, rode a little better today. Uh, it's not too dusty out there. We've actually made us a water puddle out there. We probably go swimming after a while if we wanted to play in the mud. But, uh, Everything's going good. We're kicking along pretty good. We'll see how the day finishes out. And, uh, I think we had a couple kids get injured yesterday. It's part of the game. Uh, as I put it in my household, we don't put sisters in the Hall of Fame. So, you want to you rodeo? You got to be pretty tough at doing it. Y'all get in the truck. Come to this.
All right, hey there, small town America. So the road to the championship, what better person do you want? Cody Custer's here. Cody, how awesome is this to see the next generation Cowboys and Cowgirls coming here to compete? Well, it, I mean, every young every young man that wants to be a bull rider, or I guess little girls here too. I see some of the little girls beating the boys, but it's kind of cool to come here and just see people from all over the whole United States. and. There's some Australians here, some Canadians. And it's it's pretty cool to see them all come together, and you see um, you see a lot of talent, and you see a lot of a lot of grit and heart. So it's right. a good place. To right. Go. Yeah. In fact, we had uh, a Bison that was rode last night. You know, he he got he got the luck of, of, over in Cheyenne here a couple of weeks ago. So oh yeah. Yeah. You know you know it's just one of those things you just see all of this talent coming together. And I know you brought in some bulls also. Yes, sir. Uh, and and, and how, how, how did that kind of feel to see both athletes? Because you're kind of training these guys, and they, now you're bringing in the, bringing in the stock. Yeah, I, I mean, my, my heart is to see them stay on every time. So I don't I don't have those kind of bulls that are too ranked. But I love being here and watching these kids. And just the, the, the future looks pretty good at bull riding, I think. Right, right. And then, so when you're not doing that, you've got gold buckle printing. Yes, sir. And, and so you got a little bit of there. We'll, we'll showcase a little of that. But... What all do you do, and, and where can people reach you? Man, we got uh, we we do a lot of back numbers. Like you watch uh, Denver, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Houston, Cheyenne. Uh, we've done tons of it, and then all kinds of youth uh, associations. We're, but we can print on about anything. We, uh, we do uh, all kinds of awards and, and back numbers and banners. We do a lot of stuff. So go buckle printing on on Facebook and Instagram. You, you can look on there and see what we got. Cool. Hook up, hook up with us, I guess. There you go. All right, guys. You know our motto: get in the truck, come see Cody Custer. If you've got one of the schools, make sure you get up, go see him there. Hey there, Small Town America. If you're looking for a hat while you're here at the World Finals, make sure you come by over to the Heads or Tails Hat Company. They're going to be making you, uh, steaming, steaming hats right here at the booth. Fix you up, make you look good. Get in the truck. All right, hey there, small town America. You know, we're on the road to the championships. We're here at the YBR Youth Bull Riding uh, World Finals. We got kids from all over uh, the world. We got people from, from uh, Mexico. We got the Australian team here. But, but look at here, protecting our history and preserving our heritage, that's what we're all about here at Small Town America. And we ran into this booth right here 
doing handmade boots still the way they ought to be made. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here? No, we're, we're here. We've been coming for the last four years. We love the youth bull riding world finals here. We get to see the kids and we sponsor quite a few of them. But we, uh, we make a U.S. made boot here in Texas. Uh, they're all handmade and all 100% uh, leather crafted. Right, and you're you're a traditional boot maker. You're not a cobbler that, that just repairs a boot. No, you sir. You actually no, sir. come in with a full leather sole. Tell us a little bit about what your boots here. Well, we got our most popular right now are the rough outs. We make a lot of bright colors, as you can see around here, that are really popular bright colors. We make a lot of traditional looking boots. We still make some round toe boots, which not many companies are doing that out there. Right, that, but. right. And, and your stores are, where, where are all your stores at right now? Uh, Finolio Boot actually has two stores, one in Nakona, Texas, where our factory is, and then one in the Fort Worth Stockyards in Fort Worth, Texas. Right. Small Town America, you know our motto, get in the truck, Stockyards and Nakona. Hey there, Small Town America. You know, we're on the road to a championship. What better person do you want to talk to than the world champion like Scott Mendes? Scott, what does it feel like to be here at the Youth World? Man, I, I think it's a great thing. You know, we talked a little bit about the importance of passing down the heritage of the sport that we love. Uh, watching these young guys doing things that are going to affect their career in the years to come. Passing the man on the baton to these guys has been incredible so it's a great event here in Abilene Texas at the youth bull riding world finals and it's been exciting to watch all the different countries and the young guys come together right you know there's team Australia team Mexico uh, we got kids from, from Taiwan uh, yeah. so uh, you yeah, know they see the next generation we are talking about passing the torch to the next generation how awesome is that to see especially from all over the world well, you know, I guess if you looked at it, you know, correctly, you probably go back to when we formed and started the PBR years ago. We all had a dream and a desire to have bull riding stand on its own. I uh, take no credit for what's going on in the PBR, but in the industry of the Western lifestyle, uh, lifestyle and the rodeo world, uh, it's amazing to see that there's a big draw. Some of that might be Yellowstone, I don't know, but... Uh, you know, we were young, we rode calves, we rode sheep, we rode steers, 
But today, these guys have a career, and it's certainly all laid out in front of them, but it all begins right here to come, to be involved, to ride well, to be discipled, to be mentored. Uh, it's a great opportunity for people to get involved that go. really wasn't this big back in the day. Right, right. All right, Small Town America, get in the truck. We're going to do the Road to the Championship. See you down the road. You guys uh, getting ready to get in on the second round? Cool. Eagle Pass, down south, right? Yeah. Long ways. Yeah. Long ways. Three. I mean, you guys know who's coming in this or heard of them? Yeah, I know who's coming in this, but I don't know, I don't know about everybody in here, obviously. Hey, Mr. Mitchell? Yeah, I was talking to him yesterday. Yeah, a little bit. I'll see you guys from time to time. Cool. You guys are fixing to get on in just a little bit. A couple hours. Oh, like six, seven hours. Based on your age, you've got to hurry up and wait. It's like the military. I didn't know my son. I didn't know my son. So one of the things I wanted to say to Fernando and all you guys is obviously, you know, I don't need to give you a press box because if you're here, you're already riding good, but sometimes when we're young, we get excited and we override and, and get, you know, get excited and maybe get thrown off of something and we get frustrated because we know we ride better than that, but being a bull rider, it's good to have a short-term memory, right? Like forget what happened yesterday because in a lot of ways um, what we did yesterday don't matter what we're getting on tonight. We had to do a bunch of that when we were traveling or whatever. It is it's just spiritual man and they're taking it down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just here as a chaplain to encourage you guys. I get to speak to a lot of youth. I have a youth ministry. Everything that I do today stems from my bull riding career growing and learning and having success, but all that success for me was really irrelevant for knowing who I was in Christ, coming from a divorced family. I rode in with some big names of guys you probably know, but they're not the big guys today. It was 20 years ago now. But, um, you know, in life we all have challenges, we all have gifts, we all have skill. We try to find our identity in that. You know, the Bible kind of says who we hang around with is who we become. Bad company corrupts good character. But I'm excited to watch you guys because I feel like you guys are the next generation of bull riding if you continue to get on and do well. We've all been involved in associations. We've all like seen politics. We've all had situations and done this and done that. But at the end of the day, I'm sure you guys are in this locker room because you love what you do. You know, to me that's cool because uh, I loved what I did uh, and still love it enough to talk to you guys, you know. So I just wanted to encourage you guys. I'm here. I can pray with you individually, pray with you guys together. Uh, a lot of times in my schools, you know, it seems like my job is to talk to the heart of the man. Because there's the physical Scott and then there's the spiritual Scott. In my day...
really know what's going on. But it just makes everything a whole lot easier and everything goes a whole lot smoother. And it's always fun working with three guys because when you got a really mean bull and you got three guys on him, they get super confused and it just makes the job a whole lot easier. Right. It's all about smooth and, and, and everybody getting out safe. Right, right. And so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this, what is it, 23, 13 years now. Wow. Yes, sir. It's all, all for the love, man. You can't, you can't, you know, especially these youth kids, the kids are where it's at. You know, the kids, the kids keep the sports going. I don't mind coming out here and having fun. I think a lot of you, because, you know, Flint, Flint you, you yeah. see these guys and they, they kind of mistake you guys as being a clown right, and a funny right, guy. Right. But you guys are like the total oh, safety. Yeah. There ain't I nothing funny guys, about it. Yeah, I see you guys pulling planks. I see the other day you had your hat up in there trying to get that bull's yep. attention and focus back on you. Man, you, whatever you can do to make everything smoother and help your buddies out, you know, the safer you are and the more you well, aware of things you are, you know, the better the event can go. And, you know, helping out here and there, that's that's what you get, you know, your jobs, you know. You don't really, you don't really get your jobs. Like a lot of guys say, they don't hire bullfighters. They hire good help. They know how to fight bulls. So. If you're a good help and you can twist some up, you'll get a job in most places. It's really, because it's not just the rider, it's also it's also the, the production. The, yeah. The, 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 the stock. Right, oh yeah. Yeah. Too. yeah. And then the judges and the gate men. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. You keep the production rolling and everything smooth, it's always a good time. It's always good to have three though, that's just in case somebody gets out of position and and you've got two people there at least right. at minimum. Well, and, and the other thing is too is you really kind of have to know the right. You have to. You, you can't just be a guy and show up out here. Oh because no! You got to know whether it's time to move in. It takes. When I first started fighting bulls, it took two or three years to. They call it being in the zone. I mean, you, you get in that deal and you just like everything. Like when they say time slows down, it literally slows down. You just kind of get that groove and you know where to go, when to go. And, it takes a couple of years and a lot of trial and error, that's for sure. A lot of misjudgment will definitely get you, get you in the ball. Shallow Art, Texas. 239.
this afternoon? What are you doing this afternoon? All right, we we'll come back to the senior steers. Now, this is up here, Jack. Over here, we lost the road. We got one over here. We got one over here. We found. If you're in the house, you're staying. So if you're a cap rope, cap rider, if you lost your rope, you have it right here on the house stand. So that, uh, let's see. Once you get these, all dressed up, J.W. Nunn, you get in your mind, you can get your hardware. So we're just having to bring them up here and sort them. So. Are you really going to make you sort them? Huh? Are you going to make you sort them? We're not sorting them. We're bringing them up. You're just bringing them up. Yeah. From the housing. Okay. Right. What, you having fun? Yes, sir. All right. That's all that matters. Now, so what have you been doing today? I've seen you working, I hadn't seen Cole do anything.